Hi, I'm Nick Sunderland, creator of the Ultimate Site Diary app. I'm going to show you how simple it is as a bricklaying contractor or any other subcontractor to keep a contemporaneous daily site diary by using our app. Please follow this tutorial to see how effective it can be. We start by clicking Site Diary app. We then put the project title in, CCMS Group having new offices built. So we'll put CCMS Group new HQ. We then select from a pre-populated list our works package. We discussed talking about a brickwork subcontractor, so we hit brickwork. We then move on to the site diary and all the salient details that it'll keep. Weather and timesheet. To bricklayers it's very important the weather because obviously downtime for frost, snow etc. So this is pre-populated with the weather conditions that we envisage. Fortunately today it's sunny but in the afternoon we have light rain, thankfully it doesn't slow us down. Start, we started at 8am and we're going to finish at 530 these are the hours that are in the contract. No overtime or non-productive overtime today, so we just hit next. Visitors on site. Our CEO is coming out to site and it's a pre-populated list of everybody that we believe could possibly come out, so we hit CEO. Quantity is one. Add visitor. Now we've forgotten somebody, but if we have left somebody off the list and we can't think actually who we have, but we'll show you an example, we hit other. We can then put in barman. Confirm. Quantity one, add visitor. And the list keeps populating as many visitors as we need we can add to the list. We then move on to the operatives on site. It's quite a big job, we've got bricklayers, we've got skilled bricklayers and we've got a quantity. We've got 20 bricklayers. Add operatives. As well as the bricklayers, we've still got to select bricklayers from the list. As you use the app more, it becomes intuitive and the brick layer will feature at the top of the list. Then we've got an operator because we've got our own forklift on site for distribution of materials. We add operatives, operator goes on. We've also got some apprentices, so we'll click those on. Trainees, five number and it just keeps populating with the operatives that we have on site and the skill level that they have. Again, if we've missed something from the skill, you can populate it by hitting please specify. The management team, because we've got 20 bricklayers, we've got a setting out engineer on this project. We click all the way down, we find setting out engineer, we hit. We've got one setting out engineer, full time, Add the member, he's in our prelims. We've also got a site manager that's looking after the project. So we hit site manager. So these are the people that we've got within our prelims. Plant on site. We discussed that we've got our own forklift and forklift driver. Go from the populated list again as you use it more it'll become up it'll appear at the top four lift truck four wheel drive let's say that it's got a 15 meter boom on it and the quantity we've got one
We've also got some concrete mixers in case the concrete doesn't get delivered and we have to mix our own. Hundred and ten volt mixer. Quantity one. Move on to the next field. Material issues. We already said that we've, the reason we've got a mortar mixer is in case we have to mix our own. Fortunately, they were cancelled this morning. So we click on delivery is cancelled. We can put additional information in, which says mortar cancelled 8 a.m. We can add a clause from the contract if it's a relevant event. You may or may not know. If you don't know, we suggest putting TBA, which gives you the opportunity to go back. And then we have the issue. Issues arising. The architect came to site, gave us a verbal instruction. So we find verbal instruction. Additional information. Architect advised to block up window. Clause will be the variation clause but varies from contract to contract we can just put 11 as an example for this and then we have the issue the method statement submitted needed to be amending so we went to method statement submitted method statement resubmitted after accident. Clause TBA at the issue. We mentioned about an accident happening. It was reportable. Somebody cut the hand so we can add Cut hand Alf break Add accident Next Pictures Select from the gallery or you can take them if you're out on site so Plot 18 is ready for loading out. So we can put, select the app image. So then for progress, we've got plot 18 ready for loading out. Add the issue. Plot 19 is awaiting scaffolding. So we hit crop, we've got our picture. Plot 19, awaiting, scaffold, add the issue. Plot 20, was handed over to us at the start of the week. So, plot 20, commenced. Add the issue. We've selected all the photos that we want to record. Hit next. If having gone through all the fields, pre-populated, we've missed anything, you can add other remarks in this. So, can you 
afford to not keep records in such an easy manner. We then generate the report, we click to view the report, it's saved to our device where we can then send it via email or WhatsApp, go out of here, and here's our populated diary of everything that we've just been through and inputted with photos. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, we hope you find it beneficial. You can download our app at Google Play, the Apple Store. You can chat with us on our website at www.ccmssb.com or you can email us at info at ccmssb.com. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.